Good afternoon. This is Hope Roski with Weddings and Celebrations. Well, do I have an amazing treat for you. We have Cindy Sensetong who is here today, and she is truly the cuticle queen. You know, people have talked about nail art, they've talked about nail design, but I'm telling you, no pun intended, hands down, this this lady over here has got it. Cindy, welcome to the show. Hi, welcome. I'm so <laughs> glad to be here. Yes, and you know, Cindy, you how did you wind up getting into nails? What was your draw into nail, and especially nail art? You know, I've always been artistic since I was little, learning, teaching myself how to draw, but my best friend is actually the reason why I got into it, because she always had nice nails. So I wanted nice nails, so I learned to do them myself. Okay, so if you can just once again hold up for the camera here, your nails. Each one of these nails, I am telling you, has something special on them. And it's just, these are your own creations that you have designed. Yes. And some of the clientele you have worked with, I mean, is just, it goes from A to Z. Yes, it um, does. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, some of the, we'll start with, of course, the wedding portion of it. Um, what are some of the designs that you have done for people who are going to the altar? I've actually done like something more on the simple and subtle side because no one wants to outshine their dress or even their ring. Right. So it's kind of more of like little ombres, French tips. Sometimes there's a little bit of stones there. Um, you can see here like that has some chrome on it. Um, but I feel like when it comes to weddings, like bachelorette nails are kind of where they decide they want to get more fun because you could be colorful, you know? I feel like when they're doing their actual wedding nails, they don't want to go overboard. Right, right, because the attention is to really be on the bride. Yes. But during that bachelorette part of it, it's a little bit more vivid and colorful. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the embellishments that you use in your nail designs? Um, well, I've used rhinestones, let's, cause, I mean, Sarofs used to be exact, but nowadays, you know, we can't get Swarovskis anymore. Like, they kind of stopped selling it to the world. But we do have some Australian stones that I do put in there, and they're, like, the second best. Um, I also use gold chains. I have used pearls. Um, those kind of go well with weddings as well. Um, that's kind of about it. Like... But one of the things that you have on your left hand, you have, which, you know, gummy bears. So actually for like even a birthday celebration, you know, yes. and, and even with, you know, the younger teen group um, who are kind of into that, what a, what a great way to kind of pop that color and, and do yeah. that. Yeah, so 3D has actually been something that's a thing now. And even, you know, this weekend, I'm doing a 3D set for Bachelorette Nails. So that's going to be interesting. I can't wait to post <laughs> those so you guys can all see that. But um, it can really range from anywhere because your nails are they kind of express how you are, who mm -hmm. you are. And it's always going to be different for every person. Sure. And like someone can have wedding nails and it be gold, you know, to match their jewelry. Of course. Like gold chrome. Um, I feel like there's no wrong way to do art because you're creating something and it's different. And there's always someone for everyone. That's right. And every person is different in what they, they want. And what I love is, is that you basically customize the design mm -hmm. for each person, which I think is incredible. Um, one of the things is we were talking about, because this is weddings and celebrations, um, you do some fun little party type things too. Yes. And you get into some comic type nails and a little bit more of the you know, just a little bit, um, I would call like kind of comic pop in some of your, your work. And that's where your artistry really comes in. Why don't you tell the viewers about yeah, that? Yeah, so here, the Grinch, I do hand paint him. I did hand paint him myself. I actually 
created that ornament myself and then for you know if there's concerts like I did hand paint celebrities as well so I hand paint a lot because I like to show the skill and the difference that I can do like what I can do that others can't I feel like that's what kind of stands me out and wouldn't it be fun to like do like you know if you're getting married and you paint your groom on your finger <laughs> that's doable that's I doable could do See, that. you just kind of came up with and that you know here right <laughs> for you guys that want to save your you know nails that can be expensive or whatnot like press-ons have really became a thing people have paid two hundred dollars for press-ons to wear and they can rewear them if they want and save them in a box if they want. So what type of special product are you using for the press on? Um, we have sticky tabs where they can just kind of stick them on and they'll last the day. Or you can use nail glue and glue them on and they'll last up to two to three weeks. But even after using nail glue, I feel like once you kind of like they start to come off, like after one wear, it's still pretty like the well underneath is still pretty there so they're reusable as long as you didn't damage them during your first wear oh wow that yeah is so th- now how long of a process is this uh wait if you were going to come in and get like a full set like what you have or mm-hmm. and and you mentioned too that it's you don't do it just always long no that yeah always, that you're communicating with the, the yeah. client but how long would somebody expect because there's if you're getting a great deal of embellishment it's going to take a little bit more time than even just like a basic French. So getting extra embellishments and rhinestones and charms, I'd say somewhere about three hours, three to four okay. hours. And that's and I think that's good for viewers to know because you don't want to just block out an hour of time that you might no, typically yeah. do. You want to just make sure that you are really going to sit down and just you know let Cindy do her work, work her magic on your nails. Yes, and I feel great. like you can't really rush art and. I can say that I am someone that is going to take my time to make sure that I think it's okay once you walk out. Every angle that you look at, there's like, it's, there's nothing that you can say that's wrong. And you know, it's not just being a nail tech. This is a form of artistry and people are basically wearing your art and you do travel different places. Mm -hmm. Um, What are some places where like, if people are out of the Fresno area, where will you travel? Um, I have done artwork and nails. I have worked and traveled in the Bay Area, and then I have traveled down to L.A., Um, but I'm honestly willing to travel wherever. Yes. But up and down the Central Valley is fine with me. And if you're local, you're in business because she's right down here in the Tower District, right? (laughs) Down the street. Just down the street from Central Valley Talk, which is just a wonderful central uh, location. And um, how can people get in touch with you, Cindy? Um, My social media right now, I do have my Instagram. Um, Also on there in my bio, I have a link to book an appointment. So oh, there's a booking link. There's a booking link. Okay, great. So again, viewers, if you're looking for something unique with your nails, I mean, and and truly just a special work of art, please contact Cindy, the cuticle queen. She is, I, I'm, it, to really be here in studio and to see this work is honestly, it is something to behold. Cindy, I thank you so much for taking the time to come on our show, and I wish you all the best. Thank you, too. I appreciate it. I really enjoyed being here. So glad to be here. This is Hope Roski with Weddings and Celebrations.